Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about TimDB in SQL Server. Okay. TimDB is a system database. TimDB is a system database in SQL Server. It is very very important database in SQL Server because it is recreate every time whenever you restart the services or restart the SQL server okay it is not recover the database like other user and other system database it is recreate every time when whenever the SQL server restarted when it is recreate it's clean all the all the temporary objects okay i will show you if i restart my service i'm going to stop my service in that stop ms sql dollar sql word sql one is my instant name so i stopping here i will show you how it is rigid when i stop and start the services then how sql server recreate the tmdb okay i am now start the service again start um, i'm restarting the services uh, now i am refresh disconnect and reconnect my instant I want to show you how it is clean and recreate the TMDB whenever the SQL Server restarted. I am going to the log file of SQL Server. I just check the current log, and here we just restart our server. And this is the process. 5:46 we are restart. Now SQL Server go to the startup parameter. Then go start the master database. Then start the MS SQL system resource database. Then MSDB. Then user database. Then start the model database. And then cleaning TMDB and starting TMDB. That cleaning TMDB this means it is cleaning all the tem temporary database and create the new database. Okay, like that. So it is different from other sister databases because it is recreating, not recover every time when SQL Server restarted. It is backbone of SQL Server instant. Why I call it is backbone of SQL Server instant? Because it is global resource, global resource for all. Available users they are connected to the SQL Server instant. Means if suppose if they there are number of users are connected to this instant, they all users are use the TMDB. So TMDB is very important and it is used because all the intern internal object like intern intermediate results result set of query processing and sorting operation like group by clause query order by clause query and union by clause query the intermediate results set are used temporary database tmdb it is also used work table for cursor when you run the dbcc check db sql server create a work table in tmdb and run the dbcc check command like if i run the dbcc if i run the dbcc check db for any database now i am here try to l s test and if i run this query then internally sql server create a work table for this command and run the this query the sql server use dbcc check command in tmdb 
online operation like create index or rebuild index operation also use the tmdb if suppose i am uh, uh, i'm rebuild any index of in a table here is table in the table if i go to the index and i right click it then if it i rebuild index of any table or index of index then sql server use tmdb okay the sorting and creating recreating this all operation done by the tmdb another it is another important thing it is also used to store temporary object like table table function view and store procedure table variable and row version okay the database id of tmdb is 2 database id is tmdb is 2 then you can run select star from is dot sys file in link to okay here I get the DB ID okay and logical logical name of uh, data file is temdev physical name of data file is mdf temdb.mdf tem log.ldf for log file and default size of temdb is 8 mb and default size of log file is 1 mb okay temdev logical name this is physical name and default size is 8 mb and the size 8 mb of mdf file on 1 mb of log file okay next on in uh, onwards sql server 2016 while installation we can create the number of data base file for the tmdb while installation of SQL Server, you can configure TMDB during the installation like uh, number of files, initial size, data directory, you can add number of file, initial size, if TMDB log file is there, then you can change it. This is the way you can configure TMDB while installation of SQL Server. Uh, next point is uh, the default recovery mode of TMDB is simple and you cannot change it. Okay, the default recovery mode of TMDB database is simple and you cannot change it to full or bulk. If I am trying to change it, it gives you a message the recovery cannot set in TMDB. Okay and you cannot take you cannot drop backup of tmdb if i'm trying to drop the tmdb drop database database name database name so it will not work if i'm trying to Backup is backup database database name database name ten digits so this to be broken. I'm going to backup it trying to backup of F drive ten digit full dot bak if I'm trying to backup it do not enable to take the backup uh, you cannot change the recurring mode we already see so that user defined file group of tmdb is not allowed if the primary file group is there if you add another user defined file group then sql server is not allowed to 
create a file group on TimeDB. Okay, this is regarding TimeDB. Thank you for watching this video.